Albuquerque, and we are in need of a desperate landscape yard makeover. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are standing on our mound in our front yard. We actually had this two-car driveway put in over here, and we did not know what to do with the extra dirt, so we decided to build a mound. It's a rather large mound with large rocks. <laughs> And our biggest issue is, if you follow us over this way, if people park in our nice two-car driveway, they don't have a way to get to the front door. They park right here, and the closest door would be the door to our bedroom, which can be a little awkward if they want to come into that door. So we would have space to make a sidewalk over. We don't currently have one. So they would have to walk over all of this awful dirt and rocked to get to our actual front door. And you'll notice how I have this little boy on my shoulders. I have to keep him on my shoulders because we can't put him down on this ground because he will hurt himself. It is not safe for our little guy. No. We also have this rotting fence that you see all around our property. Ow. Yeah, the fence is kind of a, um, a wind stopper, I think. It creates a little bit of privacy, but if we had a new fence or some sort of place that kind of sheltered the vehicles, that would be nice. Yes. So you can see a lot of moldy, bark, neglected landscape. At one point it probably looked really nice, but when we bought the house a year ago, this is kind of what we, we came upon. We come out here and we work a lot of times and we sweat and we do backbreaking labor and it just doesn't seem like we get anywhere, just the two of us, at making it look much better. So. And if you'll notice our front yard, how it's like, you know, it almost looks like kitty litter box. <laughs> and I think the cats of the neighborhood have been fooled by this as well. <laughs> and so there are some little secret bombs out here in our yard. And uh, that's also another reason why we don't want the boy scavenging around. Because <laughs> he likes to put things in his mouth. And we also have this big pine tree, which we like. We enjoy the shade from the pine tree, but it leaves off a lot of needles, which are still just kind of stuck all over the ground. And it appears to be kind of dying, and it's dry. We also have these dying bushes that maybe at one point were nice, but without a drip system or anything to help them thrive in this desert, we are just looking at a, at a dilapidated landscape. Yes, definitely. If you follow us over this way, you'll see that we have a one-car driveway in the front of our house. So we have the two-car driveway and the one-car driveway. seems wonderful to have all the parking, but it just is an odd layout. It's, it's when people come over, they don't know where to walk, they don't know which door to go to. We have no sidewalks until you get over here, just this tiny little sidewalk and a bit of a paver sidewalk, which isn't really our favorite. And it, it kind of gets sloppy. We're always having to sweep off the pavers. Again, we have bark and, and just pine needles. And it's a collage of different <laughs> organic materials in there. And at one point, this was a garage, but then somebody got creative and decided to make that into another room. And so... Um, yeah, it's just kind of a drive up to the <laughs> side of the house. It's kind of, I don't know, not as awesome. So please help us. Help us to have a welcoming place for all of our friends and family to come visit. Help us to have a safe place for Dusty and all of his future siblings to run and play. And a non-kitty litter box <laughs> in the front yard. That would be great. Yes. So please help us. Help us. Thank you. <laughs> We're here with Teresa, our next door neighbor. How do you feel about our yard? Not pretty at all. Not pretty. It's been bad for a long time. Previous owners as well. And it's really an eyesore in the neighborhood. An eyesore it truly in the neighborhood. Is. And she has such a nice yard living right next to us. Is it embarrassing to live next to our yard? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I, I like to see something different done with it, so hopefully you can do something with it in the near future, as very near and very close. <laughs> what would you like to see done in our yard? Nice seroscaping, southwest, uh, just natural, but yet 
nice looking and a little handsome better than this that's for sure kind of like this uh -huh. <laughs> something about like this like yeah exactly yeah this. this is the place that has the really nice pot over that way mm -hmm. that we liked so yeah <laughs> you can copy, I don't mind. <laughs> That's fine. Make it, make it look nice. <laughs> Hello, we are here with Mariah. She is our next door neighbor. <laughs> and she actually lives right across the street from us. They have a um, yeah, giant bay window that kind of faces our house and our yard. And Mariah, I was going to ask you, um, do you think our yard's kind of ugly? Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so our, our yard's kind of shady. I mean, is it? Do you feel maybe like a little embarrassed? Like if your friends come over and you're like, "Don't look that way." Yes, I I, I try to tell them to not look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. So we're here with Sissy. Sissy lives straight across from the corner of our house. It, Sissy, how do you feel about our yard? I I I'm very apprehensive to really say because you 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 just bought the house and I and I realize that but it is an eyesore we have the beautiful mountains and the beautiful trees and the weeds <laughs> and I can see how when you're out there working it's just like beating a dead horse and I feel so so bad for you, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it, if uh, if you if you got rid of that area there, it would bring the the uh, value of of the uh, properties up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a great point. Yes. Do you find it kind of embarrassing since you have to come out your door every day and that's what you see to start your day? Um. I wouldn't say embarrassing, but it, it's kind of when I sit out, you know, because I have my, my little swing and I'm out here looking at the beautiful mountains and I see that. It's kind of <laughs> it's, it's rough. Yeah, it's kind of a little rough. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I hope you win. I, Thanks I, so much. You're very, very welcome and um, oh, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>